Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I'm from Amanda Crochets and in today's video I'm going to be sharing my latest yarn haul which I got from Knit Picks. I've never really ordered from Knit Picks before except for years ago when I was trying to learn how to dye my own yarn. I ordered from them so I saw a video recently and somebody had this yarn in their yarn haul and I immediately fell in love with all the colors so I knew I had to pick up some of my own. So this is the Knit Picks Heatherly Worsted and they also have this in a lighter weight yarn, I believe it's a sport weight yarn, all the same colors. But this is a blend of acrylic and merino wool. Heatherly is a perfect choice for baby blankets and other baby projects that require next to skin softness. Cheerful colors mixed with white provide a wide range of pastel heathers to choose from. Available in two weights are both classic pastel colors and soothing deeper shades to fit any nursery's color palette. Now you can either buy this separately, so you can buy this for $5.99 a hank, or if you want you can get the value pack which includes one skein of all 12 of these colors and you can get that for 10% off the website as of right now. Now I highly recommend getting the value pack if you really like all of these colors because you are going to save a little bit of money but if you are really loving one or two of these colors you could definitely pick those up too. So let's dive in and look at these colors a little bit more closely. So this is Knit Picks and We Crochet and I think they did a collaboration together or they're kind of the same like sister companies and this is Heatherly Worsted Weight and this color is called Sweet Bing. It's 218 yards or 100 grams. And let's see if I can look at the other side. And this is hand wash dry flat and it is 80% acrylic and 20% merino wool. And the recommended knitting needle size is a 5 to 7 or 4.5 and the recommended crochet hook is a J10 um, 6 millimeter crochet hook. So this is Sweet Bing. So this is one of their darker shades that they have. And I just love the heathered look to it. I think it's really pretty. It's kind of like a raspberry berry color in a way. So a very pretty raspberry color. And this next one is called Sweetheart. And it has all the same specs with the yardage and whatnot. And this is just a really pretty light pink color. This will look very nice together. And you can also pair these colors up together. So if you were to pair these two colors up, they would look really pretty together. So that's why I wanted to get the value pack because I feel like I can make a baby blanket using all of these colors in one blanket. But this is Sweetheart. And this next one is called Key Lime. And it's that nice pastel green color. really like this color a lot and the yarn is super duper soft and squishy so you can definitely make this for any type of baby item like they mentioned on the website this one is called agave and this is like a little bit of a darker green so if I were to put these two together you can see the contrast in colors And this next one is Sea Glass, and it's very, very light pale blue. So very pretty with this. And this next one is Cabana, and this is more of like a 
uh, I guess a sky blue color that Heather'd look to it, of course. And next we have Atmosphere, and this is one of their darker blue colors. So still very pretty. And if you wanted to combine all three of those blue colors together, this is what they would look like. So you have that really light color, and then you go to that medium color all the way up to the darker color. And this next color is called Lilac. And it's one of their deeper colors. Still a very pretty purple color. I just can't get over how pretty these colors are with this heathered look to it. I'm really happy I purchased this yarn. And this next color is called Peach Fuzz. So it's a really pretty orange color. And you have your classic white and this is called snowflake and you can include this with any of these colors of course just a nice classic white color this one doesn't seem to have any heathering to it of course because it's a plain white but still very pretty yarn and then this next one is called butter and it is more of like a golden yellow color, like a light golden yellow. Still very pretty, of course. And finally, in this yarn line, this color is called Gravity. And this is a gray heathered color. So like I said, you can definitely use this yarn to make a baby blanket. You can have any color combination that you can possibly think of and you can also add all these colors to make a pretty blanket or any other baby item that you wish to make. So I'm really happy I bought this yarn. Like I said, it's super soft and squishy. You get a lot of yardage on each of these hanks and you can mix and match as you so choose. So I also picked up some cotton yarn that I have never used before but I have heard people raving about it so I wanted to pick up a few skeins and try it out for myself so I picked up the Knit Picks Dishy Cotton Yarn and I picked up a variety of Christmas colors because I wanted to make some Christmas projects for the upcoming holiday season so here are the colors that I got and these two right over here are going to be a little bit different than the solid colors but if we read about the solid color first this is dishy and it's worsted weight and it is 190 yards or 100 grams and the recommended hook size is an I through a K and it's 100% cotton machine wash cold tumble dry low and it's Knit Picks and Wee Crochet again. And then this yarn has been tested against the, uh, I think it's 350 harmful substance, substances. So that's always nice. And then the color that I have is called Jade. So it's that really pretty Christmas green color. And then I got two skeins of the white, just a classic white, just because I wanted to mix the colors in together. And then I have this very pretty color, and this is called Fiesta Red, and it's that really pretty bright color. And I thought all three of these colors looked really nice together, so I definitely wanted to make some kind of holiday item using those three colors. And then I got the Dishy Twist, and as you can see, it has a twist of two different colors. And this is, is it the same yardage? Let's see. 
Yes, so it is the same yardage, which is 190 yards or 100 grams. And that's really nice because usually for the solid colors, you have a lot more yardage. And then when you get to the variegated or striping colors, you have a lot, yes, lot less yardage. So it's really nice to have the same amount of yardage for this twisted yarn. And the color that this one is is also called Fiesta Red. It's just in that twisted fiber. So I really like that. I thought that would be a very pretty um, item. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to make, either a dishcloth or something along those lines, something kitchen related, but I thought that reminded me of a candy cane, so I really liked that a lot. And then finally I got uh, jalapeno, and this is that darker green color. It's a little bit darker than this color, but I thought, again, this is a really pretty color that you can mix and match, and then again, introduce that white color in between, and I thought that was a really nice color combination. So, I have a lot of ideas coming up regarding Christmas items, and I have some different items coming up for my channel. So, thank you so much for joining me today and learning about some of the new yarn that I picked up and I hope you visit my channel and see everything that I am up to as far as different projects going on and if you have any suggestions as always you can either leave me a comment below or you can email me and my email is in the description box below. I always love hearing from my viewers because I want to make videos that you guys are interested in so if there's ever a video or a pattern or a stitch tutorial that you would like to learn or would like to make, please let me know and I will go ahead and try my best to get that video made for you. Thank you so much for visiting my channel and learning about the yarn that I have today. Have you ever tried this yarn before? Are you interested in purchasing this yourself? Please let me know in the description in the comment section below. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see all future videos by me and as always, Happy crocheting. Bye.